In the Base Linker system, you can access multiple different printout templates. These templates contain information about orders, products, or invoices. You can use many ready made templates, or you can create your own. Thanks to the template functionality, you can use, for example, an alternative invoice format, which you can change at your own discretion. You can also print order lists, which will allow you to collect products from the warehouse. Product cards can be printed with or without a picture. You can also add a barcode. Scanning the barcode will let you access details of a given order. You can also print product lists by simply selecting the desired orders in the order list. You can find printout templates in the Orders tab. Pick Printouts and Exports. As you can see at this point, this Baselinker account has not subscribed to any new printout templates. The templates are located here at the bottom available printouts. To use a printout template, you just have to click on this green subscribe button. Before deciding to subscribe to any print, you can preview their appearance in the printout list. Just click on Preview. We will create the printout based on the orders that you already have in your system. Let's see what this printout looks like. We have a label here. Of course, order of the data on the label is based on the order currently set in the system. So let's choose one printout. For example, we will choose a list, mailing list. Click on subscribe, confirm. This printout, as you can see, is here at the very top. We can use it and it is now available from the order list. However, we cannot modify this printout as it is an original pre-generated printout from the list below. To enable editing this printout, we need to first copy the printout. To copy this printout, click here on the right on duplicate. Confirm. At this point, we have two versions of the same printout. One of them, however, can be edited. We can edit the copy. To edit it, just click this pencil button, Edit. For each printout, we modify its name. We can pick the file type, for example, whether it is a PDF or a CSV or text file. Then we can pick the file display mode. Display directly in the window or immediately download it to your drive. For PDF files, we can specify its height, width, top margin, bottom margin, and margins in general. For PDF files, we can also insert labels. The labels that we add to PDF files must be a PDF, a JPEG, and a PNG file. The type and format of the label depends also on the printer in use. Therefore, if you use such printouts and labels in the above formats, you can add the labels directly here to your printout. Next, we choose language from the template. Below, pick which sections we want to be available in this template. As you can see, the printout consists of sections. Each section has its own tags. You can create a section by entering HTML code and adding your desired tags to the code. Each section offers different tags. Each section serves a different purpose. We have a separate section for invoices, for products, for warehouses, and other general information about the order. In this printout, we have two sections, order and product, order item. In the first section, its code is generic code, applicable to the entire printout. At this point, as you can see, we added a tag, which refers to the next section, order section. In this section, enter the HTML code with other tags that retrieve order information. We can modify this section as we wish. The same applies to the order items section below. The orders items section is located directly in the orders section, here. Scrolling down, we can also modify each tag by selecting, on the left-hand side, what we want to happen for each available tag. 
whether we want to change the tag in any way, or we want to introduce an additional phrase here. We have the option to change the value of this tag. If it is not empty, we can then set the actions. To insert an action, pick Action, colon, Auction Number. We can also create our own tags at the very bottom by adding them here and then indicating the value that the tag should represent. We can enter the description here. We then select how the section should be sorted by name or by SKU, by location, or leave the default sort. We can preview our print by clicking Generate Preview. At the top of each printout, you will find help. How to add individual additional elements to each printout. Here you will learn, among other things, how to add a barcode to your printout. You can add the barcode to the printout using a special link. Here, in the code section, paste a tag, for example, your EAN or SKU or order number, which will be added as a barcode. Paste the entire HTML code, adding the IMG prefix. Likewise, add IMG at the end. Now, let's discuss how to modify an already available printout. We will modify the product list printout. Of course, we will make these changes on a copy of this printout. So, let's click Edit here, where we created a copy of the product list. To what this printout looks like, click Generate Preview. Here, we have four columns. Serial number, item, unit price, and quantity. We want to add a new column with information about the location of stock. To add a new column, we need to add this column in each section separately. The easiest way to add a column is to copy HTML code for an existing column and just paste it below. Do the same in the items list section. Copy and paste. Do the same thing in the items list summary section. Copy and paste. Let's look at the preview. Click Generate Preview. At this point, as you can see, this table is too big. It does not fit on one page. We need to modify the width. So we go back to each section and change the width of the item column. From 410 to 350. We must do the same in the items list section. And we have to do the same in the items list summary part. Now, let's see the preview. We reduce the width. We have added a new column. Now let's replace one of the price columns with location. In the first section, root, let's change the name of the new column to location. Lock dot. In the second section, let's swap the tag. Product gross price with product location. Of course, in the summary column at the bottom, there cannot be location summary information since we cannot aggregate locations since it is a text field, which is why we can remove this tag. Click Preview, and now we have five columns with the desired new location column. This way, we can modify every printout by adding extra elements, columns, or other information. You can access the available printouts directly from the Order tab. Here, if you select an order or several orders, you will see all the available printout templates. As you can see, we have two printouts at the moment, the copy and the original purchase order. After selecting Purchase Order PDF, a new window will pop up where you can view the printout. You can print it on your printer. You can download it as a PDF file, depending, of course, on what file format you prefer. You can also access printouts directly in the order information box. You can access printouts here, above the invoice and receipt related buttons. From this level, you can create a printout for a given order.